I'm William Shatner, sometimes known as Walter Bascom, in a future I created called Tech War. Welcome to Capstone, and prepare to witness the technology of the future today in Tech War, the game of CD-ROM. I'll keep it short and simple. Tech chip, tech headset. Tech user. Tech fantasy. Tantalizing. But only for a while. For here are some tech realities. Addiction. Criminal penalties. Neural damage. Death. Simple enough? I suppose you're wondering why you're here. It's simple. You're the best. At least I think you are. You've already figured out that if this weren't important, you'd still be in cryosleep, so I'm not going to waste your time, or more importantly, mine. Last month, Miyoshi Nakahara and her family disappeared while sailing a 40-foot wind cruiser around the world and are believed lost. A week later, Nikolai Petrovsky suddenly left his lab and has not been seen or heard from since. It's occurred to me that the disappearances were no accident. Oh, in case you miss the relevance, Nakahara is a Nobel Prize winning cyberneticist whose forte is the Matrix. And Petrovsky is a noted cyberbiologist who's an expert in tech addiction. The connection, if there is one, could be the worst thing to hit this city since the quake of 22. If the tech lords have developed a way to broadcast tech using the Matrix, Addiction would be universal. I don't intend to let that happen. That's where you come in. Find out if there's a connection and eliminate the threat. Do a good job, and I think I can get you released permanently. Screw up, you're back on ice. Quick, I'm uptown, and I just saw Marty Dollar.
get down here and help me bring them in. You start near Midtown and work your way through the area. Marty Dollar out of the way, we're one step closer to solving this whole case. And you even manage to bring him in without getting anyone killed. Keep this up, and I may be able to keep you out of the freezer. Dallas DeMarco is a small-time tech lord operating uptown somewhere near the hospital. He may know something about what's going on. See if you can shed any light on the situation. He's worth more alive than dead, so don't get too trigger happy. Oh, by the way, keep in touch. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, it looks like I was right about thawing you out. You got DeMarco, you managed to keep yourself from getting killed, and you kept the civilians out of the action as well. Don't get cocky. Hold my calls. Nika analyzed the data on the chip we recovered, and it looks like I was right. The disk held various invoices for electronic and laboratory hardware. They must be trying to link tech to the matrix. It's not much to go on. But then we don't have much time, so it'll have to do. I want you to take down Carlisle Rossi's operation. He conducts business from somewhere near People's Park. Try to bring him back for questioning. If the tech lords think he's selling them out, it might buy us some time. Okay, Rossi won't be pushing his trash around here anymore, but we're not done by a long shot. Something even bigger is going down. We need to find that broadcast node. But what are you waiting for? We don't have time to waste. A police cruiser just reported Conrad Lowell on the streets at Midtown, and the officer's vid phone just went dead. Tech dealing and cop killing is a bad mix. Get down there and show Lowell why.
Well, it looks like you're getting the hang of it. 
you manage to bring in Conrad Lowell and keep the obituary writers at the water cooler. Now is not the time to rest on your laurels. Get moving. I sent one of my operatives down to check out the industrial area, and I can't make contact with her. Her disappearance has Sonny Okori written all over it. Take him down. Hard if you have to, but take him down. Oh, <laughs> 
Ashes is all that's left of Sonny Hokari's operation, and of him as well. I understand it couldn't be avoided. At least he was the only casualty. Still, let's wrap this mess up quickly. I've got a bad feeling about this. One of my operatives reported seeing Miles Connor down in the free zone. What a big time operator like him is doing down there could be worth the trouble of finding out. Remember to keep your cool out there, or I'll have you put back on ice. With Connor down, we're one step closer to figuring out what's going on. Not only did you take him down, but you managed to do it without too much bloodshed.
Well, what are you waiting for? A medal? I just received a report that a security guard at the Megacorp dockyard just spotted Janus and a bunch of his goons going into a warehouse in the area. If he gets to his yacht, we'll never collar him. Get a move on, and maybe you can catch him before he goes underground again. With Janus out of the picture, I can justify my decision to keep you thawed out. And as icing on the cake, nobody was hurt. But don't plan on any vacations yet. We still haven't solved this case.
So far you've been lucky and you've taken down all the tech lords, but nothing counts if the Tech Matrix broadcast node goes online. Nika has analyzed the information you brought back and has narrowed the search area down to the free zone. They've put up a security block in cyberspace that almost killed her. If Nika had this much trouble getting through, they must have some of the finest cyber jocks on the net working for them. If that broadcast unit goes online, Hundreds of thousands of lives will be affected, and all that we've worked for will be lost. Find it and destroy it.
<laughs> I knew you were right for the job. We've made a pretty good team. We've checked the spread of tech, at least temporarily, and put a lot of tech lords out of action. But for everyone we put away, there are at least 10 ready to take their place. Putting the tech matrix broadcast node out of action before it came online saved this city from the greatest organized threat since that nuclear bomb scare by the anti-technology terrorists back in the 90s. We don't have time to relax, though. There are still lots of other tech lords throughout the world that need to be put away, and we're the ones to do it. By the way, I've convinced the parole officials to let you stay out of the freezer as long as you continue to work for me. Maybe you can clear your name after all. How about it? Do we have a deal? <laughs>